Hello, thanks for uh, watching this video. Um, my name is Dr. Joyce Setvasirali. I'm the founder and CEO of Unity Conscious Leadership Academy. I'm an award-winning author, leader, and doctor in entrepreneurship. And today I'm gonna tell you, give you an introduction about family constellations, or with other words, system dynamic work with family systems. So when, when is it necessary to do constellations? Um, if you want to break through obstructive patterns in life, and uh, um, we all encounter situations or people who give us a certain feeling or um, patterns in our lives that keep on repeating over and over again. And if it's not a positive pattern, there is an opportunity to break through that pattern because um, if you break through that pattern, you can uh, feel more authenticity, freedom, happiness, uh, love, strength, peace, open up your potential and feel much more energy. So um, I'm going to tell you about the family system and patterns. We are all born in a family system. We have a father and mother and maybe siblings. So that is our family system. So we are mem we are member of our family system, but the family system consists as well with your grandparents and great grandparents, and maybe grandchildren and great grandchildren. So um, it, it expands. So um, from the perspective of a family um, system, uh, things happen in generations before us um, and like traumas and the, they are the triggers to um, create patterns, patterns in the lives of our ancestors and patterns in our own life. Um, for instance, if there was, uh, so, was some accident a few generations ago, there was a lot of sorrow and your grandparents didn't deal with that. What happens is that the sorrow goes on and on from generation to generation on an unconscious level. So we are all carrying burdens from our aunts and sisters, which we are not aware of, but it's... Um, it comes um, to life when we experience um, obstructive patterns in our life. That are the moments that we can break through. So this is a very um, intense and um, um, love, uh, lovable way to break the patterns without um, going into the scene or maybe you have experienced uh, traumas which you are still carrying with you so you don't have to go get into the trauma you can heal and uncover your potential you have lost in the trauma to uh, go on with your life and take steps in your future so according to unity conscious leadership um um, I have um, followed the course in 2004, according to the old method of Bert Hellinger. And it's not according to the new method for constellations. That's not what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I'm doing the constellations with the lens of unity, conscious leadership. And um, the benefit of this is that we are going to a much deeper level of the soul and um, yeah, it it's works very healing and uh, you can feel the love um, and life energy flowing, flowing through yourself. Okay, so the aim of a family system is to keep in balance and in harmony. If you uh, see a family system as a mobile, uh, which is both the bed of a baby, uh, what happens when something happens and that gives a burden in one generation? It's like a weight that is uh, has put in a mobile, 
and then the mobile gets um, uh, unbalanced. So what happens is that someone else from another generation put the same weight of the burden without experiencing anything, only just to, uh, to keep the balance and the harmony in the system. So um, if you want to break through that, you can do the family constellation. There are three basic principles uh, that are necessary um, to keep a family system in balance. And that is, the first is the recognition of your own place. Um, there are families where uh, people don't talk about uh, some other people in the family system, like a miscarriage or uh, uh, abortion or maybe a child died after birth uh, or someone disappeared. For some reason, people don't talk about them. Um, these are all also souls that belong to the family system. If we don't talk about them, what happened is that the next one who is born uh, takes the place of the one who isn't there or people don't talk about. Oh, you, you, you don't know that the person uh, have been uh, on earth. So um, what happens is that mostly people, if they don't have recognition of their own place, they are always looking for, where is my place? Um, and it's not uh, only in a family system, but also with friends at school, at the working place, etc. So always looking for your place. And uh, the patterns you can uh, experience with this is that um, you don't know where you belong um, and uh, you feel abundant or um, maybe you have been bullied or still are bullying and people are bullying you. Um, it can also happen that you feel emptiness, the void inside you or um, you want to belong, belong to some group, but for some reason it doesn't work. And the second basic principle is the order. If you think about order, you think about the order of your family system, your uh, grandparents, your parents, children, grandchildren, etc. cetera. Um, sometimes things happen in a family where one of the parents is not there or not able to take care of the children. It can be because of a divorce or maybe uh, working uh, in another country and not being home for the children or a disability and or maybe one parent passed away very young. What happens is that the youngest uh, or the oldest child in the family takes the place of the parent who is not able to take his or her place, standing next to the other parent. Uh, sometimes it, it is the right solution. And what happens is that the oldest child um, is mostly arguing with the other parent who is standing there and is taking care of the siblings. Um, Sometimes it also happens that in the order, the child takes the place of the grandparents. Uh, for instance, if they take care of their parents when they are young, uh, when you are older and uh, your parents need help, it's a different story. But if you are still at home and you need the care of your parents and it turns out the other way, then you are carrying burdens, burdens that don't belong to you as a child. And uh, with a family constellation, you can break through that pattern and give back the burdens where they belong. So you can go on with your future. Um, examples are uh, of patterns are that uh, mostly people uh, who take too much responsibility feel themselves better than others. Um, they want to do more, they don't, they don't dare to say no if someone asks to do something, but they say no to themselves because um, they are not important enough, but the other people are important. Mostly they have physical problems with their uh, shoulders, their necks, it's hurting. 
So um, these are some signals that you are carrying too many bur much burdens that don't belong to you. And mostly people get burned out. That is what happening. They are giving more than they are receiving. Uh, the third is the balance between giving and receiving. If you look at uh, relationships um, between uh, friends or partners, what happens is the one is giving and the other one is receiving, like a landscape. So if one gives and the other receives, it's important that it goes the other way around as well. So the other one has to give as well to keep the balance. If there is no balance, then um, after a while, it's the end of the relationship or the friendship. Uh, exception is between parents and children. Parents give their love to their children and the children give their love to their own children. And um, my experience is that there are many people who have given their love to their parents when they were young. And there, are all, there is always a reason for that for the child. By giving the love to your parents, you're not able to receive the love of your parents. So um, uh, patterns um, about the balance between giving and receiving is um, when people, that people don't feel heard or seen or um, don't get the, the recognition or value for what they are go doing, but by um, putting effort into uh, being uh, seen or heard, they get um, compliments and then they feel, oh, so I, um, people see me, people hear me. But after a while, nobody see or hear you anymore. And try you try to do something to be heard or seen again. So it's a, it's a cycle and you can break that cycle. Um, in life, these three principles are intertwined with each other. So uh, a movement in the first principle gives a movement in the second and the third as well. So um, uh, something about a method. I do it one-on-one, -on -one, uh, live and online in Dutch and English. And I work also with groups with representatives or substitutes. So other people are uh, in a group who help you to um, do your family constellation. Uh, and we start with crafting of your family system with the help of substitutes. So if you think about yourself, your father, your mother, or maybe your siblings, if you have siblings, you have an inner image or inner feeling of where you are standing to each other and in which direction you are looking. This is uh, the, the inner system, the image is where we start with. And um, the substitutes take place of your parents and they get permission to stand in your system. What happens is when someone takes the place of your father, for example, what happens is something opens here and they get information and feelings that belong to your father, not to themselves. And uh, the information is from the zero point field. So uh, what they feel is uh, body sensations and that is leading for the constellation for me as a, a guide. So um, I like the, let the substitute say words to each other or sentences and there is forgiveness. And there, then the, uh, the family system starts to move in the room. So uh, the substitutes has changed their places. There is a movement as if um, things are solving and uh, the entanglement is gone and there is movement to a new order. And um, at the end, uh, when we finish, there is uh, a new inner image. So that is the image you take with you and um, you will feel differently in the end. Um, you will feel more, the, more love, 
uh, uh, care, authenticity, uh, strength, etc., etc. So, what can you achieve with uh, family constellation? Um, you can feel the healing flow of love, which is tangible again, and that's uh, that's the base of life. We all need that. And as a co-experiencer, -co as a substitute, it is very um, enriching and far-reaching experience and gives the insight into the functioning of, functioning of family systems. And as a substitute, if you stand in the role of someone else, it gives you an experience of feelings and body sensations from a completely different context, which uh, increase the space for your own feelings and experience. So uh, everybody has benefit from this. So examples of patterns, I already told you a few, but uh, repeating patterns or dynamics, uh, despite all uh, coaching, therapy, whatever massage you did or psychedelic um, um, uh, retreats, such as uh, struggling to take your place, being locked out, desire to belong, great sense of responsibility, difficulty asking for or receiving help, need for appreciation, feeling of emptiness, lack of support, always standing alone, feeling rejected, uh, not seen, not heard, not appreciated and not understood or you can't move forward and more. So if you recognize these patterns in your own life, feel free to connect with me. This, this is my website, www.unityconsciousleadership.com. You can find more information on my website or please send me an email to info at unityconsciousleadership.com. Thank you for watching this video. Have a peaceful, healthy and happy life day. Bye.